Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at gel transfers using the jelly print um, plates. As you can see I've already started to do this technique on the magazine um, piece of paper. So I've just put out some acrylic paint onto the jelly plate and I'm using the brayer to smooth out the paint. It's a fairly thin layer of paint um, and I'm using the Dina Wakely uh, acrylic paints in lemon. I got a very glossy magazine page from uh, Marie Claire and particularly chose a piece that had lots of white space on it, excuse my head in focus, I'm trying to match it up so I can get the three pieces, three prints on the plate <coughs> or on the piece of paper I'm going to transfer it to. So once you've placed your jelly plate on the piece of magazine paper, uh, burnish it down really well. I was just using my hands just to make sure that it's touching all um, areas and got a really good um, grip to the surface. Then peeling off the magazine paper very carefully just to make sure that I don't um, ruin the print. I'm sure there is a better way of doing this and trying to use it as a stamp but I found just to match it up I found this the easiest way to do it. So I'm trying to actually match up so the, the full image will transfer in one part. As my expertise sort of lies in stamping, that's why I'm trying to use it as a stamp rather than the other way around. Excuse the grey hairs, that's what doing having two small children will do to you. So once I've pressed it down, <clears throat> again turning it over so I can burnish it and make sure I've got a really good connection between the paper and the gel print. Um, I'm using the Dina Wakely College Collage Tissue Paper and I found that doing this on just a white piece of paper you get the best image transfer. Certainly you could have pattern paper in the background but the image may become um, a little bit distorted or um, a bit too busy for you to actually see what you've done. So again changing my colour palette up and using the ruby from the Dina Wakely paint palette or paint selection. Again a thin layer of paint over the top and repeating the process again trying not to get too inky in the process. Again, trying to register the, the image and as someone once described giving your stamp CPR just to make sure that it's got a really good um, connection to the paper line. The gel press or plate that I'm using is the smallest one which is I think about three inches by five inches. Um, now I've discovered this wonderful new technique I'm really looking forward to getting a larger plate so I can play with this a bit more and actually be able to transfer larger images straight into my journals rather than trying to piece them together like this. While I was doing this though, the one thing that kept popping into my head was this looks very much like those old fashion plates that you used to get as a kid where you used to put the different um, plates together and then use a crayon over the top to rub over them um, and then colour them in. I just love those. So at this stage I got very very excited that I'd got the full um, <clears throat> image transferred over and I really like the fact that you can use a magazine that's got the um, paint over the top too. I hope this was helpful for you to see the process and enjoy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in finding out a little more about what we do and art journaling. Thank you.